The Spanish verb estar means to be. But it means to be in very specific situations. It means to be for location and condition. In other words, if you wanted to say in Spanish, I'm someplace, I'm in class, uh, the book's on the desk, or condition, you know, the little girl's sad, or, you know, I'm happy, you would use the verb estar. Estar is an irregular verb. It means that when you change it or conjugate it so that it fits into who's doing it, who's doing the action, it doesn't change like other verbs do. It doesn't change like other AR verbs. In the yo form, it's estoy. In the tu form, it's estas with an accent over the A. In the LNA form, it's esta with an accent over the A. Nosotros estamos and ellos, ellas, ustedes están. So one of the ways that we use estar is to talk about emotions and feelings. Like the woman in this picture, ella está feliz. And el director no está feliz. We also use a star to talk about location, where something or somebody is. For example, los estudiantes están en la clase de computador. The students are in computer class. Or, yo estoy en España. I'm in Spain. And la computadora está encima del pupitre. The computer is on top of the desk. We use certain words in conjunction with estar to help us describe where things are. So we're going to use these words to describe where things are on the desk. So encima de, la computadora está encima del libro de texto, means that the computer is on top of. Encima de is on top of. Detrás de, like the cafe here, um, el cafe está detrás de la computadora, is behind. A la derecha de, like this marker, a la derecha de means to the right of. Delante de is like this pen here, el boli está delante de la computadora, is in front of. Debajo de, el libro de texto está debajo de la computadora, is below. Al lado de can be for the pencil or the marker. Al lado de means beside. And a la izquierda de is like the pencil there. A la izquierda de is to the left. If you have any questions, you can reach me at Senor Denham.